This video is all about something called answer files. When you install Windows, it always asks a series of questions. This file gives you the ability to answer every one of those questions within a single file. In this way, there will be no stops and one quick and smooth install with questions answered the way that you would want them to be. Okay, we're going to start by opening our Windows Server 2019 if it's not already open. I'm going to have you go to this website and download the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit, aka Windows ADK, from this website. With that done, we'll go ahead and install it. We'll use the default installation path. Mm, not really fond of that, but that's up to you. <clears throat> we'll go with the default in every instance and hit install. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. Okay, one of the things that gets installed with that package is the Windows System Image Manager. Let's go ahead and open that up by just typing in Windows Sys at the bottom. That'll bring that up for you. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and uh, click File and a new answer file. You'll get a prompt there. Just go ahead and click Yes to that. And we're going to browse to the WIM file that we created earlier. And we'll start with Windows 10 Home. Just go ahead and click Yes to that. And now it looks like it's unmounting the Windows image, so this is a time-consuming process. Okay, that finally finished. I think that was about a five to seven minute process, and this is what you end up getting. Okay, I'm going to try to get you through this answer file in the most abbreviated way possible that really makes it clear for you because it can be a complex uh, system that can drag out quite extensively and lose you in the process. On the left-hand side, under Components, these are basically all the questions that might be asked of you during the course of a setup process. And you can, and there's an entire slew of questions, and if not questions, um, behaviors or environment settings and so on that could be part of the install. On the right-hand side, we have a variety of com what are called components. And these are basically sections of the install. They're broken up into seven different sections that um, Microsoft has determined are logical blocks of questions that are asked of you. Now, what I've got in front of me here, normally these um, this answer file, this co these components on the right-hand side make up the answers to the questions. So you basically drag questions from the left-hand side or environment settings, whatever they may be, over to their appropriate section on the right-hand side, as we're doing, as we've done here. Now these have already been filled out because we've imported an, an answer file to show you how this works, and we've dragged them in from the left side because we know they're specific to the areas we want to address, and then we click on, for instance, user data. Okay, except EULA, we want that to be true. So when it asks us, do we accept uh, that those settings? Uh, you know, it scrolls down the long list of conditions and so on. Yes, we accept it in advance. Product key. If there was one, we would put it. We could put it in there. And it, if it was, a, let's say, a corporate license that applied to uh, many computers, we could put that in there in advance. Uh, so there's a variety of questions. We're down to OEM information. Uh, we can put our own branding information. You, just on and on and on. Now, what you can do in your own time is research what each and every one of these individual things might mean. Input locale, system locale, some of them are going to be obvious to you. Um, theme information, you know, a back desktop background, any of that kind of stuff. What we've done is imported a file called unattended XML 
and we're going to put that underneath this video so that you can just import that and all these settings will be will have been created in advance for you and then in your own time you can study these answer file uh, questions and their answers to see exactly what they are related to and you might choose to remove one or replace one or if you have a need that's not been addressed you can google that or, or search that and then drag it from this side over you see how you can just drag these over onto the right hand side and then provide your own answers so just uh, copy the answer file we've provided you below to the remote install folder and it'll be available to you when you're ready to use it feel free to open it and learn more about those settings as well okay and then we're going to go ahead and save this answer file which you'll do anytime you make changes We'll choose save as and we're going to put that in the remote install folder right there at the base. Yes. I want to briefly cover, we named that file unattend.xml, not unattended and not auto unattend. And there's some confusion. There's an auto unattend XML file, which is legit, but it's not for WDS, but instead it's for MDT, which is the one that you make the CD-ROMs and the USBs from. So, different file naming. That's it for this video. Let's move on to the next one where we learn how to create the actual images. Bye-bye.